Well, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, basically, uh, to move house, and as you can see, we've got a different uh, look in the background, but still me and Pip here. And uh, didn't have internet for a long time. It took forever for the internet people to uh, make our internet uh, come back. So I'm glad to. Uh, have access to the internet back and show you uh, <clears throat> show you a big Blu-ray update. I'm not going to show you everything I picked up. I picked up a lot of good bargains on uh, titles. A lot of them more easy to find titles and easy to find reviews of, and uh, you know less interesting uh, stuff for the casual viewer here. So I am just going to pick out a few items. Another thing I've been doing with my time, I'll just mention quickly, uh, while I have not been making videos, is going through the X-Files box set in high def. It's been wonderful revisiting uh, this show. I'm currently up to the movie that takes place between seasons 5 and 6. Uh, I've seen it all through before, uh, but this is the first time in high def, so um, having a great time with that. <laughs> stuff that we picked up recently. Uh, we picked up two more films from John Dahl. You might remember that I did a video, and I'll put the link in the description, for The Last Seduction. Very uh, good uh, modern noir. Well, bef this was his third film, and before that he did two other noirish films uh, that I like quite a lot, and I have managed to pick up some releases of that. So here we have uh, his first film, Kill Me Again, uh, starring uh, Val Kilmer and Michael Madsen, uh, an excellent little noir. Now this is on Olive Films, so no surprises that it's bare bones, but it's a pretty good, um, for a more niche title, it's a pretty good uh, print. Uh, it seems a little juddery at times, but I think there might be more to do with the uh, low budget uh, original photography. Uh, but anyway, it's presented in 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio, has a 2.0 mono, and uh, it's a really good film. Check it out, it's hard to find. After that he did another film called Red Rock West, which I've picked up the German release of, uh, which is also bare bones other than some unrelated trailers. It's, uh, it's a really fun film with Nicolas Cage, Dennis Hopper, and uh, Lara Flynn Boyle. The picture isn't the best, uh, fine detail but a bit washed out. These first three films John Dell was really hitting on something, he kind of had more mixed results after these three but um, I really like the vibe he gets and the, the shots and angles. Uh, this one is, well Kill Me Again is region A locked, I believe this is region B locked, it's actually I haven't checked it um, but I'm pretty certain that is the case but I picked this up through amazon.co.uk um, it comes with it comes in English or German, and there are no subtitles, so uh, you don't have to worry about any forced foreign subtitles. It is it just play you just select English and it plays in English. And well, worth checking out. Uh, I picked up the local release for an extremely cheap price of the Three Colors tr trilogy uh, from uh, Christoph Kielslowski. Um Always liked these films, but. The sets are always very expensive. Um, this one, you know, if you're not too fussed about paying the top dollar for the special features, because this has none, uh, but you get three films for ten dollars, uh, New Zealand ten dollars, and uh, the special features. The transfers are okay. I, I'm not. I'm curious if it's the same transfer used in many of the other uh, releases around the world because. Uh, it doesn't look as impressive to me, at least, as the reviews suggest of those, but um, it's quite possible it's the same uh, as those. It's region free, very cheap, a good alternative. And because I picked this up, I decided to seek out my other favourite film from this director, The Double Life of Ronnie, and uh, I got this pretty cheap through Amazon.co.uk, and this is region free, it has a whole bunch of special features. A uh, conversation with Kozlowski, an interview with Irene Jacob who stars, a documentary about um, Kozlowski, short films, the musicians, 
from 1958, Factory from 1970, Hospital from 76, and Railway Station from 1980. I haven't watched the short films yet, but uh, this looks really nice in motion. It's a good Blu ray and worth picking up. Got my first Ultra HD uh, disc. I don't have a 4K player or a 4K television, but luckily all of these uh, releases come with the. Uh, pip um, come come with a Blu-ray also, so it's good to pick up something as visually stunning as The Revenant, um, be able to watch it on Blu-ray, and then if eventually upgrade to the uh, 4K set and player, uh, I have a disc there to watch. But it looks stunning on Blu-ray, has a great uh, documentary uh, with it, and uh, we're checking out. Here's one I picked up super cheap also. Uh, a very underrated film from last year, Everest. Uh, All-star cast, but such a, a great old-style storytelling um, about a man versus nature. I've got uh, this version here, which has the Blu-ray and the 3D Blu-ray. Uh, has a feature-length commentary with the director, some featurettes uh, about the real incident which this was, was based on. A long time ago, I picked up this American Graffiti double feature which had American Graffiti plus more American Graffiti. I like American Graffiti and I, and I don't, uh, you know, I don't hate more American Graffiti like most people do actually. I think it has some good moments. And I'd resisted getting the American Graffiti Blu-ray because it has such bad reviews. Um, but I picked it up cheap and I actually think the reviews are overblown. It actually doesn't look too bad. Um, there is some edge enhancement here and there but uh, there's still a uh, grain structure, hasn't been washed free of, of detail at all. It's very bright and uh, I think it works quite well. Um, and because I got this, I decided I'll get this because it's quite cheap, the UK slash German release of more American Graffiti. Um, this one has all the special features from the DVD. This one has no special features, but the DVD never did either. So but you can pick this up pretty cheap uh, through Amazon UK or wherever. And finally picked up the 30th anniversary of Highlander with the new 4k scan but it's been digitally restored improved by the director it looks uh, it looks there is some crushing in the blacks but it definitely looks considerably better than the previous uh, release of Highlander um, has all the special features from before plus a new interview with the director and new interview with the star Christopher Lambert so those are some of the choice picks that I picked up while I have been out of action. Hopefully we'll get some more videos coming a little quicker. Thanks.